Hello, slam to this, folks. It's Smash Cinema 3, part 2 with the Cocker Gaff Gold Cup with teams going home and teams going through. Who's going to be in? Who's going to be out? We'll take a little look now. That's right, folks. Back once again with another prediction show today. We're taking a look at the CONCACAF Gold Cup match number three, part two. That's right. These are uh, the matches for focus on Group C's and D over the CONCACAF Gold Cup. And we'll get to that in just one second. If you're new, where you been, boys? Smash your subscribe button. Get your bang out today with all things Gold Cup related. Black Panther Rovers related. Bye. Football related, we're going to go here under one rooskies, of course, of the eight nations that are through. Uh, or, of the eight nations that are taking part this coming Tuesday, uh, I think uh, three of them are already through, of course, and we just need one more spot uh, to guarantee themselves in the quarterfinals. So we'll explore that in just a second. Of course, big shout out to the VIPs. They are the patrons, and if you are new, check out those links down below. But here we go. First and foremost, we're going to take a look back at my picks, which were just the other day. Of course, uh, they are coming thick and fast in the Cocker Cup Gold Cup. So let's jump in the, in the deep end and have a look at how I did, and then we'll take a look at how you guys did. So here we go. Kicking it off with uh, this bad boy. Uh, of course, it was Guadalupe up against Jamaica as a 3 nil win. That was my pick uh, for Jamaica over Guadalupe. It was actually a 2-1 win, so it wasn't too far off the money. Uh, but I'm going to give myself a pat on the back for that bad boy. Meanwhile, kicking on for the same group of Costa Rica up against Suriname. I actually went with the 2-0 win for Costa Rica. It's actually a 2-1 win. A little bit of uh, uh, sticky wicket at the end there for Costa Rica losing the man, but 2-1 uh, win. Not too shabby. Into Group D it was Qatar up against uh, Grenada. It was a 3 nil win for me. 4 nil win was the final score, so not too shabby on that one. I'm wrapping it up. A 2-2 draw between Panama and uh, Honduras there. And I actually went with it. Actually, it was a 3-2 win. So, you know what? That's not too shabby there. 3 out of 4 ain't too bad. Uh, that's my picks. Let's take a look at you, how you guys got on. In fact, we'll have a look at the groups at the moment. As you can see, Costa Rica and Jamaica, they are through. Home and host, Honduras, they are through as well. Home and host. Qatar, Panama are the, the two nations that are going to be duking out this final match today to see who will go through uh, into the last eight, of course, where it gets nitty gritty, of course. Let's take a look at the leaderboard for this week and this week alone, or this match day. Of course, uh, three winners. Got four out of four. Impressive. Let's give him a round of applause. Hands were Tom. Uh, Omar Esquivel, of course, getting four out of four. And then the chasing pack as well. Well, the overall leaderboard for the Grand Tournament as a whole. Let's take a look at it. Here it is. Uh, I believe Hans Wurst and Omar Esquivel are leading with 15 points. That's all possible. I don't even know. Uh, Gaming Charlie, Uman Hussein, not too far away either. And then a chasing pack. Uh, Yannick Buster, Tom Stain, and James Bees FC are great. Any double names in there? There might be some double names in there. Uh, Shane O'Donnell, yeah, he should actually be on 12. Uh, so we'll have to up you up to 12 there, Shane. Shane. Uh, you know what? I, and it's starting to get on my nerves, this. But uh, I, I, will, I will explain once more time. Whenever we get... Because we are just coming around the corner. In fact, this week we're going to see the launch of a new league, German Bundesliga Spy. So whenever you put your first name in, uh, in the Prediction League, make sure that name is the same name. Even small spaces, capitals, this, that and the other is all going to make it all difficult. And when it gets to a big league, like a Bundesliga, like a Premier League and all that, I'm not going to be going through like a fine tooth comb and spotting these doubles. And I know it's hard. It's very, very hard. But there is a, an extra space on one of these, I'm sure. Omar Esquivel's been doing it as well. Uh, Iman Hussein's been notorious as well for the previous competitions as well. I think Yannick Buster's also in here. Yannick Buster should also be on 11 as well. But again, there's, there's an extra space in one of these. So that's why it's all going a bit haywire. And I'm not going to be there to, to fix your errors. You're going to have to do it yourself and make sure you... You, you do it right. Just don't add extra spaces. Be cautious. Because when it gets to hundreds of people doing it, like the Premier League, I'm not going to go with like a fine tooth comb. It, it does my, it, it slows everything down. This is going to be quicker. So that's you telling off. Uh, so here we go, match number three, part uh, two. Uh, here we go. Oh, get back into it. Get There it is. Get in the, the mugs. That's the uh, the bits and pieces there. The, the, the website, and of course, the QR code, if you're tech savvy, like this guy. Okay, let's kick it off then, shall we, with a big one. It is Costa Rica up against Jamaica, brother. That's right. These are games that are all taking place on Tuesday, uh, of course. Uh, Pleasure of the 11 times in the past, according to my knowledge, four wins. Uh, for Costa Rica, one win for Jamaica, and of course, uh, six draws. Biggest win uh, for Costa Rica was a 3 0 win compared to that one win for Jamaica, uh, that biggest and only win. In fact, uh, Costa Rica scored 12 goals to their six. Uh, the Cummins won 1.09 goal game ratio, compared to the 0.55 goals game ratio for the Jamaica. Uh, of course, Cummins back to back wins for Costa Rica, meanwhile, back to back wins for Jamaica as well. In fact, just one defeat in the past five games. Of course, heading into this, that's our pleasure, was a uh, in, in competitive action, was a 3 0 win for Costa Rica back in 2016. And of course, uh, Jamaica will fancy the chances on this one. Bookies are on this one. We have 2019 on for Costa Rica. 3 to 1 is Jamaica and 12 to 5 is your draw. This one, of course, both of these nations are through. They might even rotate it a little bit, but of course, they might even. They, I, I do think they will want to come out on top as group winners on this one, so there might be a little bit of a better edge to it. So I'm going to go with a, a 2 1 win for Jamaica, brother. Get my beer can ready, baby, because uh, we're going to, to the quarterfinals. Uh, that's what as group winners, of course. Next up, of course, in the same group, it will be Suriname up against Guadalupe, of course. Uh, nothing but pride on the line for this one, uh, as of course, these two sides 
uh, are going to go home. Of course, never play each other, according to my knowledge, uh, heading into this. Uh, but of course, coming into this on 50% form for Suriname, that's losing the last three. Uh, but prior to that, they won the last three. As for Guadalupe, they got this back to back defeats for them. However, prior to that, they actually won the last four. Uh, that last four included the likes of Bahamas, included the likes of uh, Guatemala, included the likes of Turks and Chaos, and St. Martin as well. As for Suriname, the games prior to the old Gold Cup, they did lose to Canada, they did beat the likes of Bermuda, and they also beat the likes of Aruba as well. Uh, but of course, they fancy the chances on this one, I do think. Uh, the book is odds on this one. We have Suriname coming at 58 on for the victory. 3 1 is your draw. 11 2 is your Guadalupe. Again, both going home, and I think they're going to go home with a smile. That is Suriname with a 2 win. Guadalupe going to go home with nothing. That is right. Into the group D we go now. And what do we have? We have, uh, what is the next one? Uh, line up for me it is, it is Panama up against Grenada. Of course, Panama are not out, uh, are not through, sorry. Uh, but of course, uh, Grenada are already out. Uh, of course, uh, uh, Panama need the big results up against these bad boys, which they played each other no time, according to my knowledge, heading into this. Uh, of course, Thomas Christensen, the manager for Panama, up against Michael Finley of Grenada. Uh, heading into the Panama, coming to his 50% form without a win in four games. Uh, of course, uh, and of course, those four games included the two in the CONCACAF Gold Cup, which were narrow, narrow uh, games. Of course, they drew with Qatar 3 3. They lost to Honduras 3 2. Uh, scoring goals, scoring five goals, conceding six, though. Uh, but before that, they did lose to Mexico uh, before this. Uh, they also drew with Caracal. They also drew with, uh, they also beat Caracal and also beat the Dominican Republic. As for Grenada, they come into this, of course, uh, just one win in six. That one win was against uh, the Virgin Islands uh, back in March, of course. So uh, not really fancy the chances on this one. The book is odds. Uh, do I have book is odds? I might have book is odds on this one. Give me a minute. Uh, where is it? Panama are actually 40 to 1 on for the victory. 45 to 1 is your Grenada. Absolutely massive odds. 10 to 1 is your draw. I'm going to go with on this one, Panama, to take it. 3 near will. It might be enough. It might not be enough. Uh, but uh, we'll have to wait and see on that one. And then finally, the biggest one, probably uh, the game of the week, even though Honduras are already through, it is Honduras and it is uh, going to be Qatar as well. Gas Nation, who of course trying to get themselves through to the uh, to the knockout stage. Played each other zero times, to my knowledge, anyway. Um, uh, they come into this Honduras 50% in form, unbeaten the last four, picking up three wins and a draw. Me and Qatar come into this, unbeaten the last nine. And that's winning four of the past six as well. Uh, those wins include the likes of Grenada last time around, big up a draw against Panama as well. Prior to that, they beat like some El Salvador, Oman, and India, as well as drawing with Ireland. As for Honduras to come into this, uh, prior to the World Cup, uh, they drew with Mexico. They also drew, uh, they also uh, beat uh, Costa Rica as well on uh, penalties or something like that, or aggregate. And they also narrowly lost to the United States. So they are, they are credible, uh, credible uh, winners on this one. That is Qatar. Get, get the graphic on the screen there. So, so there we go. Here it is, of course. And of course, the odds on this one. We have Honduras 20, 20 for the victory, 74 is your Qatar, and 21 to 10 is your draw on this one. It could be a draw, smells like a draw, but ah, what am I got? I think I've gone with a draw. That's right. 2 2 in the end. That draw will favour Honduras as well. Well, it'll, it'll favour them and of course put them through as group winners. I put Qatar as runners up and it'll probably send uh, Panama going home. Uh, meanwhile, of course, Jamaica and and uh, and, and uh, uh, Costa Rica will also be going through. That's that. Be sure to give you your love in, of course, uh, to the video. Smash your thumbs up, smash your subscribe. Also, make sure you go to the old URL here uh, to get your predictions in for match number three, part two. Uh, of course, let me know your thoughts and opinions about the Cold Cup. Uh, we get to the nitty gritty stages now with the big boys. The final, or the, what is it? The 16 become eight, and of course, with those eight will become four. It is, of course, the, 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 the days of Panama penalties, extra time, all that kind of stuff, a lot of drama, and of course the returns of the watch as well, it's been very, very busy past week, and hopefully we'll see you soon for some more drama with the watch -longs. until then, give the video some love, smash the thumbs up, smash the subscribe, I'll see you soon for the next one, whenever that is.